Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the noise gate in the computer version of BandLab. Here I have a vocal track, and you can hear some breathing and me moving around between the vocals while recording. And while these noises will probably be hidden by the instrument tracks, they will muddy up the mix. So I need to remove them. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. Now, cleaning up my vocals is quite easy. I just need to add and set up a noise gate. So click on the vocal track header to select the track. Then click on effects at the bottom of the screen. Click on add effect. Click on compressors. Then scroll down. and click on Noise Gate. Now, when I click on the play icon, you can hear the breathing and the other noises have been removed. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. Now, what is happening is the noise gate is muting the track between the vocals. And we have three controls on the noise gate. The first one is called threshold. And threshold sets the track volume level that triggers the noise gate to mute the track. Currently, it says minus 30 dB. So when the track volume is lower than minus 30 dB, the noise gate mutes the track when I click on play, you can hear that the end of the vocals is cut short because it's below minus 30 dB. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. So if I press the mouse cursor on threshold and drag down, so it says about minus 46 dB next to the threshold, the volume level of the threshold is reduced and the end of the vocals are no longer removed. But now some of the breathing and other noises can be heard. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. So I need to press on the threshold again and drag up until all the vocals are heard and also the breathing and other noises are gone. And it's best to do this while playing the vocal track. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. Now, if I set the threshold back to minus 30 dB, I can show you the next control. Release sets how long the noise gate takes to mute the track. So if I press the mouse cursor on release and drag up, I can increase how long the noise gate takes to mute the track to up to 800 milliseconds. And by doing this and now pressing 
on play, the end of the vocals is no longer cut off. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. Now I did this just to show you what release does. And setting release too high can make some of the unwanted noises be heard. So personally, I prefer to go the other way and set release as short as possible. So I press on release and drag down until it says 100 milliseconds. Then set the threshold so I can hear all the vocals. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. Finally, we have attack. Attack sets how long it takes for the noise gate to stop muting the track. If there is a bit of noise just before the vocal start that can still be heard, you can press on attack and drag up to make the noise gate mute the track a bit longer and remove the noise. This, however, can start to remove the first bit of the vocals if it's too high. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. So, I like to keep it set to about 5 milliseconds. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!